It's me again, Mike Dishman, here to talk to you more about Stylescapes, because apparently it's all any of you care about currently. So I'm going to make a couple videos on Stylescapes. That's what everybody seems to want to do. Stylescapes. Stylescapes. That's not a stylescape. Get out of here. Some of you are asking me, Nick, why do a stylescape when I already do mood boards? Uh, they're way better. Mood boards are I. Okay? Let's take a look at stylescapes first. All right, so we're on Pinterest. We're gonna look at some nice stylescapes and we're gonna compare them to mood boards and we're gonna see what the difference is. All right, all right, all right, all right. Stone Beach stylescape. Let's take a look at this guy's stylescape. This stylescape is interesting. There's three different sections here. I'm not sure why. Normally I'd have mine about probably one of these sections, I would guess. This one's a little plain. Let's try to find a better one here. Let's, oh my, what, let's look at this one. This one looks really nice. Okay, these are amazing. Let's look, let's look at these stylescapes this guy has on here on this Bright Scout website. So as you can see, let's look at this one. We got a bit of a logo identity. We got some typography. We got some probably logos, probably how of logos of companies that they kind of like, that they kind of want to emulate. We got some little photos here, play button. They're missing their customer avatar. I would put the avatar in here, which is a photo of an actual person who you're targeting like this right here. See, this is like supposedly the target audience of this this company. Apparently they're like Bernie Sanders supporters, Democrats. This is a little, this one's a little messy. It's okay. This one's a little better. Colors are kind of throwing me off because there's so many colors, way too many colors. Blue, red, green, yellow. I mean, that's every color. If it just was blue, can you imagine if this was just blue and yellow? How good that would look? Get rid of this red, dude. Get rid of the red and the green dot. What's the green dot even doing there? Anyway, this one's awesome. It's just black and white with a little bit of color here. I feel like this really makes me feel like I understand where the brand is gonna go. It's tough. It's industrial. It's, you know, utilitarian. It's, um... It looks like a, it looks definitely like male driven. I mean, they got this guy flipping this tire. They got like a men's watch back here. Looks like they have like a men's brand protein shake here. Um, just the gray and black. It's very metal. You know, like you think, you think male, I guess. I don't know, but it looks like uh, possibly they wanted to make this uh, co-ed, but it doesn't really look like it's working out too well. I want to lighten this up a little bit, make it look a little more friendly. It doesn't look very friendly, all right? It looks like military boot camp. You're going to get your ass kicked unwelcoming right okay let's move on to the next one this should be a this should be a stylescape review this is mike dishman and we're gonna do us some we're gonna go on the internet we're gonna find some stylescapes we're gonna review them we're gonna talk about them we're gonna see what they're all about and we're gonna try to identify the message that they're trying to portray in their style okay all right let's do another one this one looks really nice i don't understand why they cut it off here why don't you just put the whole thing in here like this makes it look so weird it's almost it's almost hard to even look at like this this one's very clean i love this one the typography is amazing this this woman's cut out photo here i mean this this look this someone spent a lot of time on this stylescape someone spent a lot of time on this one they have treatment to the typography they have can we zoom in on this? I mean, this looks like it's so small on my screen. So that's a great, that's a nice one. This one looks really nice and clean. I'm gonna guess that this has something to do with like jazz or hip hop or some kind of music scene. Um, we got a guy with a saxophone back here, but we also have this dude who looks like like kind of like a hip hop artist kind of thing. He's got like a bandana around his head and like a large necklace. Uh, this guy's on a mic, but he's got kind of dreadlocks and a bandana, so that's more maybe a Rasta style. So it's hard to tell exactly what's going on here. I like the colors. They look nice. Maybe ensemble means it's like an ensemble of different kinds of music. Hip-hop, we got reggae, we got jazz. Looks like this may be more like, you know, I'm not sure. Then we got this lady back here on, is that a guitar? Looks like a guitar, so maybe like normal, like solo artists too. Whoops, hit my mic. So, all right, so we could have, they, I mean, I feel like I get what's going on here. Oh, they got like a DJ back here too. 
So all kinds of music, it seems. This one, this one is more traditional. This is like what I would expect out of uh, three different avenues that you could take. Mild, medium, and spicy, I would say. I'd say the middle one's more mild than this one. This one's a little more, a little more spice. It's three very different takes that the designer took from the user profile data to generate these. Now this one's really interesting. It's really interesting because they're very different. They are very different. You'll notice the avatar, the largest person on the screen, they kind of look like the same target market, don't they? It's a guy with a, uh, with a haircut that's a little like modern tech, techie looking kind of guy. I wouldn't say this guy looks techie. I mean, I, you could make the argument. So this is really interesting. Three different styles. Now, when we have a really nice big project with a nice big budget, I would hire three different designers to do three stylescapes. So I get three completely different brains, you know, that's that's gonna be bring the most value to the client so they can really have something to choose from. Three brains are always better than one. Okay, this one, I'm not liking this one at all. This one is, it's just, I don't like how it's broken up. I just wanna see the whole thing. You know, this one's pretty good. It's a little, it could, it's a little boring. It's a little flat. This probably done in like 20 minutes, but you know, sometimes you just gotta get the job done. Now this one is way more interesting. Spartan race, very nice. So these are the three different ways you could have gone, I suppose. It looks like number one, I don't know. They, this one's definitely the spiciest, but these two, they're about the same. It says medium style scape right here. <laughs> it does say it, mild. Medium. Does it say spicy? Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, so they think this is medium and mild. I don't know. I actually think this is more mild than medium. I mean, uh, I feel like number two should be number one because this has a lot of like flair over here. It's kind of more messy. This one's very basic. It's very nice, very clean and modern, simple, minimalistic. Uh, definitely goes along with the furniture that they have, minimalistic furniture. That's a thing people love. You know, they love that kind of stuff. Ikea is all about that kind of stuff. I would say this is very, very obvious what's going on here. Ooh, look at this one. This one's beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous. Three different, completely different stylescapes for th for the same user, as you can see. He kind of looks like the same man. Actually, this and this guy look very similar, but it's the same dude. Great typography. And the fact that they can pull off this sans serif and serif and kind of give the same feeling where this looks a little more luxurious, this is a little more clean. This is a little more futuristic. Um, a little more designy. This is a, this was a great set. You should definitely be looking at stuff like this for inspiration because this is amazing. This is a great. This is a great. What a great. Who did this? Who put this together? Charles Haggis, on August 9th. So this is a, this is last year. This guy, this guy, this is a great article. Inspiration. I'm gonna get inspiration from this personally because you know sometimes it's hard to come up with layouts. You know. And when you're doing this thing, you're kind of just mushing stuff together that you're finding all over the place. It's hard to think of what you should do. So coming here and being like, yeah, maybe I should just get like a giant head, cut it out. And that would, you know, bring these two sections together. And, or maybe put the giant head on this side. Or, you know, maybe try to find a form I can put in here. Or some kind of crazy image that I could do something with typography with. Those are the kind of things that you want to look for. You know, shapes. You know, this like vector looking, I'm not even sure what's going on with this. Some kind of crazy design, you know, it's, it's awesome. All right, let's go to the next one. This one's okay. This one's just, this one's okay. I don't, it's broken up. I hate it. That's broken up. All right, here we go. Here's another one. So here we got three different styles for some sort of hacking event. It's very obvious that that's what it's for. I mean, just looking at these, they're very, they're, they're pretty similar. It's not a lot of variation here. I'd like to see more variation between these styles, but uh, maybe the client, you know, maybe the client really likes this kind of style. So maybe it was a maybe it was a waste of time to do something else. Ooh, here we go. I don't personally dig the style of this design. Uh, it's a little weird for me. There's some nice elements, but this is also a good example of three very different things. This is very beautiful back here. These lines going across. That's very nice. The cherries kind of throw me off personally this is nice here too and this is nice here too but this part and this part and this part you just cover those parts up so i think we got a pretty good you know i think we got a pretty good idea of what how style should go okay and that's it we're out of them so here's the last one we'll show you this one's pretty sweet it's got three different logo ideas but you know if you really analyze this and you really look at what's going on here it looks good because all three of them are together okay 
They're kind of wacky. They got a lot of stuff going on. But if you look at it individually, you look at each individual chunk, it looks, it's so basic. You got a logo here. And then they just got, they made three circles, a couple more circles. Pasted on a design they found from Pinterest. Pasted, got some more circles, cropped them, put some photos in there or uh, masked some photos in there. Masked another photo in here. Cut this one guy out, the avatar. Slapped him in there. Another uh, web design, another web design, a couple logos, and a, a MasterCard. So like this, this, this right here, this could be done in 20, 30 minutes. I mean, this whole thing, all three, we're talking an hour and a half. And can you imagine giving this to a client without their request and being like, here's some here's some choices that we can roll with. They're gonna be like, what? They're gonna be like, whoa, look at this. My ideas, my vision is coming to life before my eyes. And now I get to choose the different paths that my brand will take. That's very exciting. Clients love it. Design is a very elusive, weird thing. It's hard to trust anybody is gonna do it correctly. You have to see what they've done in their portfolio and then hope that they can grasp what you're trying to tell them in the you know the whole discovery process but this really inspires confidence this kind of stuff really gets you to be in line with your client to stand shoulder to shoulder with them in their company and their project and to truly be a creative design consultant to truly grow and help their business through the use of design thinking your big beautiful brain this has been a stylescape review even though it was going to start off being stylescape versus mood board we just went style full stylescape review this is michael dishman's youtube channel i don't know what else to call it and thanks for showing up that's this that's this video this video is over now ah! Yes, hello. It is me, Michael Miguel. I am here to talk to you about the uh, style skip. When I go against Iron Man and Iron Man 3, I, uh, I design a uh, little like the style. Eh? So, I employ style skip into my design process to further, uh, how do you say, uh, enhance design process. Pro, pro, process? I don't. I don't really know the Russian. I don't really do a very good Russian accent, but sometimes I can do a bit of a break. What am I doing?